Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Center 22. We're back here in No Man's Land with Grover Games. So I decided to do a little bit of work off screen, so I stay stayed up the day before and I finished, as you can probably tell, one of the fields back there. I left the other one, so we'll finish that today. And I ended up picking the rock out of that big field just so we don't have to spend all day watching that today. But as you can kind of see on the mini map, the field's shapes are all drawn out and our oats here our oats here bleh, excuse me is already starting to grow but we're starting to get a few invaders so I think the first task this morning is we're gonna head into town and I think we're gonna pick up a tool to start getting rid of these I I kinda have a tool in mind already and I think we're gonna pick up a a weeder for now I normally would pick up a spr normally I pick up the sprayer but I there's not so there's not too many good cheap options for us and I figure with the few fields we have I think we're going to be fine with just picking up a little little weeder for now but we're going to back the trailer around by our toolbox here we're going to get ri get rid of the logging poles cuz I don't think we'll be using that for a bit with what I have in mind cuz I think since flatbed trailer I think that one of my goals is for the next month or two is I think we're gonna end up mowing all the grass that is out back there that we haven't made a field into any fields yet and we're gonna end up bailing that and we're gonna end up wrapping it cuz with that ro little rock bucket I found, that has been extremely handy and ex it was dirt cheap compared to what we were going to ha have to spend for a rock picker. Granted, the only issue with that rock bucket is you can't really hire a helper to do it, which isn't the biggest deal thing, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't take that tack long. I think it took about five, ten minutes for me to clean up all those rocks out there, especially with us having our own rock pile out back there, it kind of makes it a little bit easier to get to dispose of everything. So, but no, I had a I had a weeder in mind, and let's see here, weeders. I don't use. There we go. I don't usually use weeders too much, but we're gonna pick up this 825 roll cultivator. And we're gonna put, make sure we put a slow moving vehicle triangle on it. And we're gonna put some guy, guy coulters on it to keep it between the rows. Granted, granted, we're not not gonna be doing too much with that. But I think I think we're gonna bump up the speed because usually I think when we were running it we were running around six seven a half, seven miles an hour so that's pretty accurate uh we'll let's we'll keep it standard for now because I don't think I don't think we'll we'll have too much going on but the main goal today is we're gonna finish tilling that last field get this put on here We're gonna finish tilling our last field for the day. And we gotta get both the fields spread we gotta get the rocks picked in the last field, and then we'll have to we'll have to get the uh, lime spread on both of the fields. And then we'll go head out back there and get our soybeans and sorghum drilled. And like I said, I'm I think we're gonna end up heading towards planting the biggest field in soybeans. Then we're going to plant the smaller smaller one in sorghum. So the biggest field is pretty much ready to go. Like I said, the only thing we got to do is lime it now. And I'm kind of curious. I might have... I think I might have overdone it when I was buying lime. But it's hard to tell yet. Because we've gone, gone through almost, almost a bag and a half in reality for this one little field. But it seems like we got 
it just seems like I we got quite a bit of lime sitting up here yet. And I think one of the other things I want to do, like in the next month or two, is get a shed put up. So that way the Oliver doesn't have to sit outside the whole time. It's it's starting to become a little bit of a dirty girl too, so I kind of would like to buy a, a small power washer. I'm actually kind of curious. We're going to see this bag handler here. Put the loader back on. Drop the bucket here. And I've been, ever since we ran a field that one episode, I've been trying to remember to top off the tractor before the next episode, just so that way we don't have any more issues. Can I? Oh, nope, I cannot. It's trying to pick up the trailer. Still too close? What about up here? Nope. Still too high? Oh. Yep, we're still trying to pick up the trailer. Well, I wonder. One more way I want to try it here. I think that this thing's that sensitive to picking up the trailer as well, because I think because we would be able to unload most of the stuff like that. Because even I even tried lifting the bat, uh, line bags off last episode with it, and it kept wanting to grab the trailer as well. But you know it. I'm still not upset with the tool. We're not getting rid of it ever for logging. It is officially my best friend in this logging madness. There we go. Get this set down right here. But I think one of the first things we're gonna do is I think we're gonna get to get the field weeded out weeded out and then we're gonna we'll hook up our our little subsoiler or a ripper finish ripping the ground up so that way we can start getting the rocks picked out there and then we'll get those picked and then we'll head into Lyman and get in the field zone so we're we got quite a bit to plan for this month of May and this this tractor's almost got five hours on it since we bought it which Kinda of goes to show you, we've we put quite a bit of time into the series already. I mean, to think about it, because most of it's, at least half of it's been spent logging. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it's tearing the weeds out already, so it's gonna it's gonna work out just fine. Even though in reality we wouldn't be able to do a roll cultivator with with something like this, but you know, this is this is just one of those cool vintage tools to have. We, my folks, still actually have one a roll cultivator, but it's not a John Deere one, and we we very very rarely use it anymore. I think we kind of took. We took two, we took, so we used to have two of them, and the one was an 8 row, and the one is a 12 row, and we kind of converted all the, all the useful parts off the 8 row one onto the 12 row one, and we actually put it on like a se second set of guide cultures, and it actually helped it out quite a bit. But we, it's been at least years since we last used, well, actually used one in the field, and it's, it's not something that's commonly seen anymore. Like, it's kind of an older way of taking care of weeds in the field and such. Kind of loosening up the soil, too, too as well. But I think a lot of people believed in, like, kind of getting the soil aerated, but, you know, when you, I guess, in my mindset, I don't know if this is true or not, but that doesn't seem like the brightest thing, especially 
since you're breaking up breaking the layer and kind of exposing the moisture below and kind of helping it dry out a little little more so to speak is guess the way I would view it but no we're gonna we're gonna jump into the time lapse here I hope we have enough time for the episode to knock all this stuff out we might we might even drag it out a little longer just to get everything done cuz I think what's gonna take us the longest besides weeding obviously is probably gonna be trying to get this last field done to be honest with you cuz it with a little too it's about two meters wide is our subsoiler so not not much wider than our own tractor right now it's gonna take us quite a while to even knock that out I think it took me oh probably 45 minutes just to knock out that field behind us but yeah we'll jump in the time lapse here and we'll go from there and see what happens so we'll see you guys in a bit
of hearts when everyone folds your forge to holes your place in your bed showing no regret close your eyes to hide your lies roll the dice you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass got an invincible fence You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. Oh, when I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my witchcraft.
tell the stories about the city life and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant, paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back where I came from. Where everybody knows my name, my friends are still the same. I guess the slow life in me just right, like a bonfire. Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that I need. But there is pregnant, paycheck. Check the tag. 
Burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright, then my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home. All right, everyone, I think we're about to wrap it up today here. It's going to be quite a bit of a longer episode. I probably went about a half hour or so longer recording than I normally do. Um, I guess the main reason I did that is because I really wanted to knock all this stuff out in one episode so that way we can move into the next month. Right? I guess the next plan that I have is we're going to... I think we're going to head up to the top of these hills over back here that, where we haven't done any tillage to make any fields yet and we're going to go up there and mow all that stuff and rake it up and bale it as well and I th think we're going to inv finally invest ourselves into a bale wrapper. I haven't decided if we're gonna, just going to get the pole behind one or if we'll get the stationary stationary one. I'm kind of leaning more towards the stationary one just because I know the pole behind one would be quite a bit cheaper. I think it's like 10, 12 grand cheaper but with the, sta the stationary one I'm looking at, at least with that one it would be able to handle all the all the mods that I got installed at least for like wrapping bales. Let's just top this off. Get rid of these bags at least. Maybe. Yep. Got rid of both of the bags. So, one less thing for us to worry about. Well, we we're getting we're getting pretty low on fuel again for this Oliver. It's she is a drinker, I've noticed. But we got 
she has been she has been the backbone of this whole operation so far so I can't really complain and it looks like we still got quite a bit of lime left so I guess I overestimate how much we need well maybe if I decide to till up after we get done mowing the grass up here maybe I'll till up one of these and just put in a full grass field because that yields a lot better than just mowing the normal grass texture so to speak is the best way to put it and I I think I might start putting in start I didn't even like put in some dirt road and such here make a path get rid of some of these dang bushes they are really bugging me just just feel like there's too many of them in this little area but I guess the other thing I would want to do let's pull along here and start filling this up while I finish finish the outro as well Maybe. Am I not close enough? What? Well, you know, we'll just drop that off. I'll hook that in the bush for now. Guess we gotta pull right alongside it to get the trigger to come. Get it to trigger. There it goes. Okay. But that's that's fine. But we're gonna like I said, I think I might in between episode I might go up there tonight yet and start cutting before it gets too dark, so that way we have a good portion of it done, because tomorrow we're gonna have in the month of June, we're gonna have quite a bit of work ahead of us. If we got that grass cut, we'll have to rake it and then we'll we'll probably have some weeding to do again. In our new fields, I think I got most of the weeds here. We'll kind of see as it, as everything starts to grow. But the oats field is looking really clean. I think, I think investing into this roll cultivator for our whoop got stuck between the bale there was definitely one of a one of the best better investments on our parts. Even though it's not quite as fast or efficient, but it's what we can afford and budget into because. We still got quite a bit to think about buying. Like, we haven't even bought a real house yet. And I I remember saying, like, episode one or two that I wanted to get into a real house right away. But weather's still been kind of nice out to be roughing it in our little tent here. So I guess it, the other main priority is our little area is looking quite a mess with all our equipment sprawled out like this. So I kind of would like to invest into a to a shelter because I feel like the Oliver kind of deserved deserves a nice place to call itself home as well especially for as many hours as we put on the thing for for our short season so far but I think this is where we're going to wrap it up today here folks um, if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you're enjoying the content please subscribe to stay up to date with the latest No Man's Land playthrough and other farming simulator and games as well Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and most of all, thanks for watching.